third round of the 2011 season. He's a star with both of his wins and he's in Fernandez on pole. Followed by Ciela and Peter, yet we have believed that himself really fall by the win. And it's Ferrari, Jack Turn before, Mr. Bob, Ina Pavanis, Ligorov, UK Ball, <coughs> Ripley, Pepsi, Zanuck, Kobayashi, Maldonado, Boemi, Schumacher, Pellas, Al Swari, Nawali, Shrilly, Mariano, and Fukil, who rounds off the grid. So, yep, Malaysia is always a really good race, and yeah, here we have five red lights for the Malaysia Grand Prix. It lights out, and oh, we got a good start by Fernandez. Of an even better one by Blazer Jack Sonic, who could potentially take who could potentially take second in turn three, and it looks like he has what a star by Dragon Jack time for through to be free at the moment. The Red Bulls will not be liking this, but Ciela, <clears throat> they had P3 on the hard tyres. Bavinasso, all of a sudden just pushing through there. I did not expect that whatsoever. But look at Crumbly, the championship leader. He's just gotten a penalty for causing a collision and he's down P10. Do we ask me how he's leading the championship? He's just had a really good first two races. So yeah, for the first time ever, he's led the championship. So we'll be really happy about that. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I just watched that there, I just clicked off, but there, Crumbly crashes into the wall there. He lost half a front wing and the yellow flags are out again. It's for Maldonado, who's also crashed into a wall and lost half a front wing. And yeah, Juan Fernandez leads. By around a second. Actually, no, um, Voyager has like to see what calls in the gap a little bit. Hang on to start first, but we're really going to have to be careful with these cameras because we never know what a crash can happen. Crashes in this game are so loud to sell that probably heads into the bits. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to want to head into the bits as quick as possible. I and mean, look at that, the exit is right there. Get off the tyres, now we're going to go to the radar camera angles there. The best bob on the hard compound tyres is under pressure for Grigorov, who might even try and move there. He has tried to move, and he's stuck the move around a really hard corner to get a move done on. So it's so easy just to get the car in there. So yeah, both Maldonado and Crumpley have already put it. Uh, Crumbly's going to stop, so he's, he's going to pit again at some point, so it's going to go at the end on them. Neither can Maldonado set up himself on for a real risky strategy. Even the harder risky, that's the hardest tyre you can get. So, yeah. Hardest, hardest tyre you can get there. I'm surprised there's been no like incidents or anything. So Fernando says pass up later on so he snatches it by a tenth of a second. I'm not gonna say ninety-nine thousandths of a second or whatever. No point. There we are Bamus. Hurry running P3 for the McLaren team. This is what they need. They need podium. Podium is what they get. Probably what they're thinking. Now uh, Crumbly does set the fast set for free there. 25.8. So, yeah, Crumbly is going to be happy with that and Dragon. However, I feel like it won't be long until he ends up meeting up with Trudy. There we are. Trudy, you can literally see him in the rear. Oh! Oh! Well, I thought I was Blitzer and Sonic hit the wall for a second. But no, it was not. I wonder how Crump is doing at the moment. I wonder like, how he's feeling. Being all the way down there and with penalty. So 
So, yeah, sorry about that there. And this is going to be getting in that last step of the UK ball. Running P6 for Mercedes. So this is a decent result from Merck. However, they're going to want to get better championship position. He's on Maldonado, he's gonna cross the line now to start his next lap. There he is. He's started that four. As Fernandez still leading, he'll be he'll win the not win the championship, he'll be in the lead the championship if the race ends how it is. And Crubby will drop that quite a bit. Yeah, Red Bull aren't really pulling off as good moves as everyone thought they were today. Everyone was going to expect Red Bull to be dominating out of nowhere in this race, but this is not. It has not happened. They have not got the return from us, really, uh, with what the world wanted. Yeah, Boy John's like the, the fastest lap holder at the moment. Probably running just over a second ahead of Fernandez. Yeah, I really do hope for the. Just for Dragon's sake, um. That Blade Runner song catches up, and also for audience's sake, because we'll get to see a good battle for the lead. However, Fernandez is really pulling that gap out more. Fernandez knows that, that he's getting pressurized by the Dragon behind him. But yeah, there we are, we can see the lights in the tires now. The wires just peeping me and it's like, hello. And they're always... Sudo's so has been penalised there, so something individual's happened. But... Was that El Pepsi or was it Susanna? It was El Pepsi. El Pepsi has suffered front wing to damage. Yeah, that's not good for him. He, he'll probably end up hitting. Oh, and that is Alcaswari into the wall. Oh. Jeff Time 4 is going to risk it. Oh, wait, he's got damage. He's got damage, so he must have collided with our Pepsi. The ball got damaged, the ball got out here. Jack Time 4 might be able to go the end on them tires. This is going to be a real risk for him. He's going to come out. He's ahead of Crumbly. Of course, Crumbly's going to have to fit later on because he cannot go to the end on tires like that. Yeah, currently he's gonna be expected to fit some on later in this race, as does Maldonado. Actually, Maldonado could go at the end, but again, he had even had red cheese for tires. Oh, around the wall, we in the Williams. Oh, getting real close to the wall there. I think that's a little too close to the comfort for the Williams driver there. Swerving across the track just to keep the car out of the barriers. And there we are, Sergio Peza. Probably with um, bad tyres and mediums starting to get ready with. And what's happening? Yellow flags are out. I oh. And there has been a crash, there has been a crash involving Maldonado. What was that? My voice just cracked there. My voice just made me do a squeal. But yeah, Maldonado has been involved in a crash. And how has he not got damage? And it's with Fernandez pitting, Lady Jonathan has the lead. Of the Malaysian Grand Prix. Of course, there is. Oh, and he's hit the wall! 
And the safety car's out because what was that? Sienna! Went right behind! Has smashed! Into the barrier! Okay, so here we see Blade Drive Sonic, he just clips wall to completely reset the steering. He hits wall, looking not be out. And then in the back, we just see Sierra just flies like that. Like, honestly, that must be a really scary moment for the both of them drivers there. Which means that he is going to come out, new tyres, a new front wing, and his position is going to be amazing. This is also good for the soft, the hard tyre runners. And the medium tire runners. So we have Blade Dragon Sonic into the pit lane now. Now, how much will he get held up for? Is what I'm wondering. I really get held up with that. Actually, it's a question. Could Dragon have. Well, Dragon's pit box is all the way at the end. Now, Fernandez is coming around that line now. Mr. Bob is staying out. He is staying out. Damn. He really was the Blade of Dragon Sonic out in the second place. Like I told you. I, that thing would work. Chloe actually. Oh! Oh, it was almost a perfect double stop from Salva. But Crumbly's able to go into the pits. But yeah. Oh! 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 Jeez! That is unsafe release by Sergio Perez. I don't know what they were thinking, but yeah, they really pulled that one off. Um, at the moment, if the race was ended, Kobayashi would actually score points for Salva. But what I just don't understand is why Mr. Bob has not paid. He could have used this to get some fresh tires, but now he's going to have to go to the end of the race properly on them horrible tires. Blade Drive Sonic in second with, with, the, with one of the quickest tires on the with the quickest mediums on the grid. He's really gonna be happy. And Mr. Bob is gonna have to be worried. If, because if he wants this win, he's gonna have to try and defend that first place for quite some time. But the Red Bull team are gonna be disappointed because Ferrari there. He's in the P6. But this will allow Fernandez to get massive gains over them in the drivers. Because let's just say Crumpley's going to lose the lead the championship this race. Like he has a 5 second time penalty and he's down in P15. So yeah, Fernandez is probably going to end up taking the championship lead this race. And yeah. Takes championship lead this race and Red Bull have a lot of um, stuff to do they want to try and keep that position yeah what a radical move by Mr. Bob there stay out under the safety car horse ones who had already pitted um yeah people who had already um pitted didn't pit on the safety car reasonably But yeah, um, once you had already put it, had gotten a massive advantage, which Mr. Wolf could have easily used on them hard tires, but no, he did not use it. And yet, this should be the last half of the safety car, so we could get going again here in Malaysia. Well, this race is a good one. Oh, we're just looking at Mr. Bob right now, just in P1. Gonna get some of the juicy camera angles at a random. You gotta love them camera angles. And now we are four tenths of a second with the top two, of course. That doesn't really matter. Let's check Mr. Bob's tires. Okay, okay, I'm struggling to read that. 65% Blade Drown Sonics 97 For car you tied a lot more cooler to the the, the wear like the, the rate of wear goes down so then the tires just 
but we'll be able to last longer than normal. So yeah, here we are, we're heading into that final sector now. I think, yeah, we've already hit the final sector in fact. So yeah, now that we've actually hit the final sector, we can get ourselves going. I'd imagine, yes, safety car ending. Wow. So, Mr. Bob's gonna have to last six laps on wearing hards against a field of quicker tires. Let's see how he can do on the race start. Here we are, green flag throughout, and he's on the way. Here we are, the gap is not much whatsoever. Blade the Dragon Sonic is on an absolute charge right now, and he's going to try and make a move around the outside of Mr. Bob. It's gonna fail, I think, for now. But he has more speed, he has the fresher tyres. He has the better tyres in general. And he threw in a P1 in the Grand Prix. Now, next person to probably make an overtake on Mr. Bob very soon would be his own teammate. And imagine the team would give him the orders to say, go on, switch positions. It's better for our championship. It's better for our results. Come on, just switch places. Just something on the lines out, and oh! Oh, that was really close. As Fernandez swoops around into P2 with a Grand Prix. What a race restart this has been. Oh, I genuinely thought Mr. Bob was about to crash out there. We have played it out, Sonny. Because Fernandez has been held up by his own teammate, has gone almost a second ahead of Fernandez. So we have Dragon could be on for the second ever win. And there we are, Mr. Bob is just losing places upon places now. There we are, he's about to drop into P8. He went from P1 to P7 in just one lap of racing. Let's transfer it with your current race leader. A Ferrari in the Red Bull is up in a third place. Cezanek is looking to score points as they're up in the sixth. Ferrari are currently looking the quickest out of anyone. As we go over now ahead of Mr. Bob, El Hepsi probably will soon. This was a massive gamble by the Ferrari team and it's just not worked out. They thought they could use track position but they just have not been able to. The question is can he hold on for the rest of the race? As Perez makes a dive on El Pepsi. But he's hit the wall in the process and oh! Oh! I do not understand what just happened. It seemed like Perez got caught on something. And he lost half his front wing. Kobayashi has just gone a penalty there. Oh! Perez will not be happy with that. He's on a different line to everyone. I'm sure that he's probably going to end up going to pitch. Yes, he does. That's El Pepsi now. He's going to get through into P10. Later on, sorry, still your race leader, but look who's right behind him. It's Flying Fernandez and Flying Ferrari. And here we are. Can Ferrari make a dive at all? No. But Fernandez actually makes a dive on him. It's a ma it's a massive battle here with the top three. It's a, it's a one that's probably gonna get remembered this season. What an insane battle going on here! However, Ferrari and Fernandez fight. Oh no, Flavian sorry could potentially pull out a gap a bit more. Yellow flag out in sec two. It's for Maldonado who's hit the wall. He's cost William through the entire budget. Do -do 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 Oh, and whoa, that's Fernandez who's hit the wall. He lost half of his front wing, and that's fruit for him out of the race. Win contention. This is terrible news for the Ferrari team. They have one driver who's gonna fall out the point soon, and another who's gonna have to pit. This is not good whatsoever for the Ferrari team. 
Fernandez dives into the pitch. He cannot hold on any longer. With that crusty dusty looking for the wing. And here we are for Rory now. He's the next one who raised contention. Can he make a move on Blaise Valtoric in his last few laps? To get the win, he has the pace. But does he have the what? Does he have the power to dive? He, well, he does. He's got the move. Blade John Sonic will not want to let that slide though. But so we're just gonna watch their on board right now. Watch the Blade John Sonic now. Let's switch over to Ferraris. Of course, we're entering the really fast section where you could easily mess up. Yeah, uh, on board number two. Oh, oh, can Blade John Sonic go make enough time? No, he cannot. That's, that's straight smoke. Smaller than I'm almost thinking, Mr. Bob is out as he's crashed into the wall. But guess what? Because of what's happened, it's at the end of the race. It's happened at the end of the race. And do you know what this means? This is going to be your final order for who? It's on right for this place, John Sonic. Into the pit lane! Why? I'm just asking why, why, why? Dragon have just chucked away P2 for no reason whatsoever. This is brilliant. This is gonna cause trauma, it's not brilliant for them. Well, this is going to cause so much drama, I cannot believe it. Shizana is going to just miss out on a podium place. Crumbly's probably going to fall to points. Let's just say that. He's going to fall to points because then one will have to go after this. Um, Fernandez will not reach the point somehow. Well, you'd reach a max of P11, I'd say. But that's for some, for some damn reason, some bits. I just can't believe what Dragon have done. This is great news for Red Bull. But yeah, one Ferrari driver out the race, one Red Bull driver out the race. And Fernandez in P14. Probably in P7, who's going to lose that due to penalties. Then a Ferrari in P1, but I don't think he's... No, he's not going to be able to take the championship lead this race. I don't think, anyways. So, in fact, um, Crumbly might actually keep the championship lead. Unless it goes to someone else, because I think we have Bamanus in P3, UK Ball P6, Blade Runner Sonic in P6. So, yeah. Let me peep. Also, we go up as well. He's in P5. But yeah, the drivers are going to head on to their final lap of the GP. Ferrari will lead it, obviously, but there's no safety car coming in. Because the safety car's happening right at the end of the Grand Prix. So he's going to start the final lap. Here, here we go. Mariano casually just trying to catch up. Most Mariano thing I do. So yeah, we are Rory the race winner. UK Ball will tie as high as ever finish by getting a P2. Ravenous will get P3. So yeah, McLaren gonna be really happy to the podium. I we gonna have to feel about I feel really bad for Susanna. P4, like amazing results. Best ever finish by one off the podium. Grigorov is going to get P5 in this Grand Prix. Later Travel Tonic will get P6 after paying for no reason. Don't know why they just chucked away it like that. 
Oh, that's Crumpley now. Um, he's in P7. He's gonna drop down. Oh, Valdenau's gonna drop to P20. Sutil's gonna drop to P19. Kobayashi will drop P18. Oh, Pepsi 17. Crumpley P16. So Algaswari, if the Toro Russell will get P7. No, while we will score points with P8, Jeff Dime P4 will get P9, Schumacher should get P10, Fernandez P11, Troy will get P12, Rowini P13, Mariano P14. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or not. But yeah, actually, it all depends because look at that. These guys here at the back are still doing a little bit of catch up and, and they might not actually gain anything from this. But yeah, Ferrari will come across the line now. Around the final two corners as he goes. There we are, he's done it. We'll hear Brazilian national anthem one more time this season. But there we are, he takes the win. UK ball P6, we'll see the smaller people finishing this race off. And there we are, coming on across the line, P20. How we'll finish high than that. Let's go to the podium celebrations. So we have interesting podium. Later on, I chucked away a dragon's chance of a P2 there. Which was literally 100% chance, but then he decided to just add 1%, which was chucking away. Um, yeah, for IP1, UK Ball P2, I'm asking pretty nice to the Brazilian national anthem. <laughs> So for us, we won. Then we have UK Ball, Bamness, Cezanne, Gregora, Blade Rail, Sonic, Alex Warren, Nawari, Jack Time 4, Schumacher, Fernandez, Crumpley, Trulli, El Pepsi, Co Perez, Kobayashi, Boemi, Mariano, Sutil, Maldonado, Mr. Bob, and Sierra. Both of them retired. So that's the end of this. We'll see you in the next one in China. Some teams have a quiz. We'll see you then. And it is goodbye.